Ukraine is marking the end of World War II. President Petro Poroshenko has taken part in a ceremony in Kyiv to remember the millions of Ukrainians killed during one of the darkest chapters of the country's history. Ukraine joined Europe in marking Victory Day on May 8, one day ahead of Russia. Moscow staged a military hardware show on Monday nights in honor of the occasion. Russia is often accused of downplaying the role of the Allied forces in the defeat of Nazi Germany. In Kyiv, the occasion is a rather somber one. More than 14 million Ukrainians died during World War II, according to Alexander Turchinov, the head of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council. Ukrainians mark May 8 as the Day of Reconciliation in an effort to unite people with different views on the war. This is also a step to set Ukraine apart from Russia. Just as it was during World War II, Ukrainians today are once again on the front line. At this moment, our homeland is the territory where we have to confront the aggressor, fight for values of democracy and rule of law, fight for our freedom. Thanks to the bravery of Ukrainian service personnel and efforts of diplomacy, active hostilities have been stopped. But the fuse of war and the button of peace are located in Moscow. It's all in the hands of a man who has imperial ambitions, who is trapped in the primitive perceptions of geopolitics that are soaked with total neglect of international law.